Hello everybody, welcome back to the reviews. I got my Major Melon Major Melon shirt on today because we are going to be making a watermelon bowl. So, and I got my Major Melon right here. So, yeah, my dad suggested I did this instead of a regular review this week since we got this and I was planning to do this. So, I'm just going to do this today. So, yeah, a Mountain Dew melon bowl. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure other people have done this before. But I'm doing it now, too. So I got a melon. I use like this size, about this size, not too big. Put it down. I also got my Mountain Dew cutting board out. A Mountain Dew hat on. Okay, so here it is. This is the kind of melon I use. And then I look to see which side will stay up the best. So it looks like this side will stay up the best. Kind of, I don't know. This one wasn't the best, I thought. I thought this one would stand up better than this. Okay, I'm gonna go get a bowl real quick too, just to have so I can put that down in it. I'll be right back. Okay, I got two bowls here, one to put the melon in and then one to hold the melon. So first, what I'm gonna do here is get get the melon and then just cut it in half here. Um, just like this, just find where the middle part of it is and then just cut it in half. So, okay. Hopefully this is even. Okay, gotta be careful when using it. Now be careful when you're using a knife. And if you are young, make sure you do this with adult supervision because this is dangerous using a knife to cut open a watermelon. Because anything could happen. Okay, it looks like I'm about cut through it now. Okay, there we go. Now, this this actually does stand up pretty good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here out of the way, because I'm not gonna use that one. I'll use that one later. But now what you wanna do once you have this all cut up is just get another bowl to put the actual watermelon pieces in and then just start scooping it out. And I am gonna skip past this part since I am scooping it and it is gonna take a while, but let me just show y'all. So just scoop out all the insides of it Put it in a separate bowl and i'll be right back once i get that done okay now that we've got the insides pretty much scooped out it should look like this just like big bowl and i'm gonna try a piece so now what you want to do put the watermelon aside and then get a blender here and make sure you have adult supervision if you're doing this i want to go plug this in here Okay, now that it's plugged in, what you want to do is you want to get some some of the melon that you just scooped out, put it into the blender. Now, normally, if you're blending up fruits and stuff like stuff like this, you would want to put a little bit of water in, but we're not going to put water in it. We're going to put some major melon in. Now, you want to do this like a couple times, like two times, I think. So that way all the melon is like it fills up the watermelon again One more piece in there like that And I put that right there and then what you want to do is open up You can use any any drink that you want to put in here. I'm using the major melon I have done this with major melon. I've done it with regular Mountain Dew and I might do it with fruit quake as well So you want to open it up now Mm, really good and now just pour it in here yeah, that should be good about yep right there at the line and then put that off to the side screw this back in and hopefully nothing goes wrong here 
Just put it in like that. And then, okay, so. Let's get it all blended up. Make sure there's no particles or any chunks of watermelon. Well, you can leave some chunks of watermelon in. I guess that would be fine because it adds more flavor. I think I'm gonna put some little pieces in. And then um, let's see if this fills up the whole thing, it might. So then let's get it opened up here. Pour it in. And it just about fills up the whole thing. And looking good. I think this is all that I need, all I need. Um, then I think I'm just gonna cut up a bit of pieces of these, put it in there too. Just cut up some watermelon into some small pieces, put it in. Like that. And then you can also put like other fruits in here as well, like put some oranges or something. Make it yours, like however you want to do it. It's pretty cool, really fun to do, especially when it's really hot out. It's kind of cold out today. But I'm going to do it anyways because this is fun and I really like watermelon too. So I usually put like little umbrellas in it too. But I couldn't find those and I didn't want to go to Dollar General to look. So no, no little umbrellas today. But we will be using just some regular watermelon. Alright now that we've got that in. Okay let me take that away. See if he'll stand up here. Nope. Okay, so let me put it back in the bowl. And then I do put, pour some more Mountain Dew in there just to give it a little bit of extra flavor when I'm done making it. Just pouring some extra Mountain Dew in there, whatever drink you have. Not too much to overflow it, but just a little bit. And usually I have a straw when I'm doing this, but I don't have a straw today, so I'm just going to be doing it like this with the spoon and now let's taste it. So this is just with major melon. Um, yeah, like I said, you can use any drink, so it is gonna taste different depending on what drink you get. But I'm gonna taste some of the drink, like just plain water and then a piece with the watermelon. I don't think it'll make a difference much, but let me try some of it. Mm hmm really good. And Sometimes I put ice cubes in it to cool it down more if I'm just sitting outside, but it's cold outside. I'm not putting ice cubes in it because I don't want to be even more cold. But yeah, this is really good. Okay, now let me see if I can hold on to it and not drop it here. Let's see. Yep, this is really good. I really like Mountain Dew, Major Melon, Watermelon Bowls. Really fun to make. Let me go ahead and add some more melon in here. Really good activity for hot summer days or just having fun. So yeah, that's the end of this video making a Mountain Dew Major Melon Bowl. And you can also do some cool things like around the edge like go like diagonally like this and make like little spikes on it. I've done that once, but I didn't feel like doing that today. Just simple watermelon bowl. And let me, let me, um, let me know if you guys want to see any more melon bowls with any other Mountain Dews or just leave a comment on which Mountain Dew you want me to make a melon bowl with. And then I'll do that. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to for a more amazing Mountain Dew and melon content. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace.